Hello everyone, it's Robin here, and welcome, welcome. I'm happy to see you all today. So today, I have a little bit of a haul here. I have a package here from Happy Planner, pretty excited about this, and I have another little one from Live Love Posh because I picked up some new clear covers, and I can't wait to check them out in my planner. So I'm looking forward to getting into these goodies and sharing them with you, so let's put the camera down and get started. So here we have some items. I love buying planner supplies. It's so much fun. And you know, we're in planner season now, which is typically fall, because that's when we're all trying to figure out what we want to use for 2025. And I've been doing the same thing. So in here are a few things that I'm holding for next year, for 2025, as well as a couple of items that I will be using here coming soon and this year. I also have this package from Live Love Posh. Love this bag this is in. These are some clear dividers, which we're gonna, not dividers, I'm sorry, clear covers, which we're going to test and see how they look. So I'm excited about that. Let's open this real quick and see what all we have. Get that fun pink bag out of the way. And yeah, here we go. So I took advantage of some of the sales Happy Planner is having, along with some rewards that I have that actually worked with the sale and as you can see i have a skinny classic i love using a skinny in um, having it in my kitchen area so we're going to be flipping through this and then i have these snap-in tabs i have pen pouch i have a couple of fun extension packs and some stickers so i'm going to push this aside and let's just look at everything Let's open these covers first and see where we're at with that. These are from Live Love Posh. Now I've had a clear classic frosted covers from Live Love Posh for a while now. And they're on my planner right here. And I just cracked this back piece, which it's still working just fine, but I've had these for years. They're very durable. So I thought I would get another set because again, I've had them for a while. But while I was on there, I was also looking at their clear covers. And because I had the frosted, I never bought the clear, but I was wondering what the clear would look. Now I always worry about the glare, but you know, maybe they'll work just fine. So let's test this out. These are so fun to have on my planners and I put them on every now and then because you can see through them and you can put all kinds of fun papers behind them. So I don't know if these have a film over them. Yes, they do. So I'm pulling this off the back. Oh yeah, look, check that out. So you can decorate your planner very easily with these types of plastic covers. Okay, I feel like there's some on the front, but I can't figure it out. So let's pull this off of here. Okay, I got this pulled up here. So satisfying, so satisfying. And I want to see how these look on here and if there's a glare. So let me take these off. And again, these are very thick. They're very durable. I've had them for years, but you know, eventually. <laughs> if you take them on and off enough. They just gave way a little bit. So let's test this clear cover on here and see about the glare. Oh, I kind of like this. So these are a little more flexible, yet they're still very strong. Oh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. So you can see glare when I do that, but when I lay it down, not so much. That's really nice. Let's put the back end on. They go on very easily and they're very durable. And look at that. Yes. So I think we'll keep this on here for now because I really like to be able to see this. These work really well for, for helping to decorate because like I have just a divider here, which is super cute. You can put scrapbook paper underneath, images, photos, whatever you want. But I also have the frosted covers. Live Love Posh sells these in all the different sizes of the Happy Planners. So if you're interested in that, you can definitely check that out. Okay, let's move this aside and look at the Happy Planner stuff. So I organized it into two little stacks here. This stack to use for now, and this stack to use for 2025. So let's do the now first and do the 2025 after. So these are those snap-in tabs, which I used in a video on Tuesday to create, well, here I'll show you. We created a really fun photo page using a regular scrapbook pocket page 
to put in my planner. I'll link that video below if you haven't seen it. And that was super fun. And that's one of the things that I had picked up from here. It comes with 12 pieces. So there are four in each color. They are transparent, but you know, they're color. So you see them, but I picked those up. Very inexpensive, like 350 or something of that nature. I also picked up a pen pouch. Let's pull it right out of here. This is in that desert thistle design, which I absolutely love. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. There's a band on the back. Oh my gosh. There we go. These are strip tied very, very heavily. <laughs> so there's a band to go around your planner. And I thought this would be fun. Plus I loved this design so much that I thought it would be really pretty to have it on my planner. So it just opens up here. Oh, that's kind of a pinky lilac-y kind of color. Yeah, that's super fun. Always could use a good zip pouch. And then this is a Christmas calendar extension. Now this is an older version. Happy Planner still has this. It is on sale and right as of today, they're offering another sale, a 20% on top of the already sale price. So you could get a really good deal on some of their sale items. This is a Christmas extension pack. I absolutely love using these. I really like this one too. Last year I used the new one that came out and it was very woodsy like. And while I loved it, because I love that pattern so much, I really missed out on these clear, true Christmas colors. So I picked this up because we're gonna be putting a Christmas planner together, probably coming the beginning of November. Let's go ahead and look at this. Again, I've had these before, but it was such a good sale that I picked up another one. Look at that, she's so pretty. So even, even if I wanted to use this as my Christmas cover. Like if I want to make a separate pan planner, look at that. Look at that. That would make a very cute Christmas cover. Okay. Options. We might do that. Let's move this aside. So this is a fun extension pack to help get all of your Christmas planning needs done. We're going to flip through it fairly quickly. This is a menu section. I just love the design on this. It's so pretty. And then there's the back of it. So let's get some room here. There we go. And then here are a bunch of pages for menu planning, dates, and then all kinds of lines. So you can use this for different types of menus you're doing or one whole page for one whole event. I tend to use my Christmas planner for all through November and into Christmas. So it's both Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I can write down things I'm bringing for Thanksgiving, things I'm making for Thanksgiving. So sometimes you use a whole page if you want. You also could keep this year after year after year. And you have a few pages of that. Then there's also a few recipe pages. It's always nice to put uh, some of the recipes that you use for the holidays because we have those traditional recipes, right? That we like to use. So put them on here and keep them in with your holiday planner quite a few pages for that. And then we go into a party section. What a wonderful time of year. See, this would make a pretty cover too. See, my mind is just open now with these clear covers. <laughs> so, oh, the back of that's really pretty. So here's our holiday party planner. Now we don't do a lot of parties, but I will use these for Christmas day because there's a lot of places to write down, you know, what you're trying to do. Like there's a menu area, there's guests, we know who's coming, but there's guest area, activities and music. I mean, we could just write, jot things down and decor. We can change the top of that if we want to. But I also like to use these for planning a little party for just Rod and myself, because you know, you don't have to have a lot of people for a party. And sometimes I like to do during the holidays, a themed night for the holidays that includes fun food, uh, maybe a game and maybe a Christmas movie of sorts and all of that can be written down So that's really fun. And then there's some line paper there So these holiday party planner pages are some of my favorite. I do like to use I love This sprinkly thing going on here More of that in my life. Yes, absolutely So what five six pages of this? So yeah, that's fun Lots of parties in our future. Okay, another cute cute, possible cute cover, right? Warm wishes, and this is for cards. Look, more sprinkles. So here's a Christmas card list that is room for names and addresses, which is really fun. We haven't mailed Christmas cards 
um, in a while. I do want to mail Christmas cards this year. I used to do cards all the time. I even at a point was making cards. So um, I definitely want to do cards. There's a lot here. I won't be doing this many for sure. But yeah, that's fun. Bring on the Mary. Here is the gift section. Definitely fun. Would be a very cute cover for your planner. <laughs> and here's the gift list. So when we start, uh, you know, buying all that stuff off of Amazon, <laughs> we could just list it and mark off when we get it, right? So there are definitely enough gift, gift lists in here to last a while. I really like these stocking stuffer pages. They're my favorite because they're sectioned off. We have five kids with, you know, with their significant others, their husbands and their girlfriends and all of the good things. And um, we mail them off because they don't live here. So I like each section for what I'm packing and mailing to the kids. So those are really fun. So you have enough of those to last. Memories. So there's a memory keeping section, which is also really fun. It says feeling merry and bright. Here's favorite memories. So, I mean, you could write, jot things down, even from past. Doesn't have to be this Christmas. Just things you think of. You can put little photos. Super fun. I think I might want to do some of that this year. That could be cute. Love that page. I love this poinsettia um, pattern that Happy Planner came out with. The colors are really pretty. And you have a few pages of that. Holiday traditions. I think I used a sheet like this when I did my word of the year last year, Joy. I think I used this sheet. So yes, I've had this before, but now we have it again because it's fun. Here's a note section, looks like a Christmas package. Oh my gosh, more of the sprinkles, definitely. This is the same note paper. And oh, deck the halls. This is for a cookie exchange. I did have this because I, you almost used this as my cover last year. I remember that now because I love these poinsettias. So pretty and ingredients for here. So uh, cookie exchange is really fun. Used to have cookie parties. Here's cookie recipes. Love doing the cookies. May or may not do a cookie exchange necessarily, but maybe having a cookie decorating party could be fun. And here's baking ingredients, party supplies, and I need to get what? That's always very helpful. Oh, and some stickers. Look at that. There's that poinsettia, merry and bright, some fun trees. I like this. This is fun. And these, this was matte stickers. This is a clear set. And these are all of the mugs of the cocoa and the cars and all the shopping and the trees and lights. I mean, who couldn't ask for anything more? So love this. And um, I will likely be setting this up. I'm going to just set this aside for now. Uh, in November for a Christmas planner because I love making a Christmas planner and I'll be using some of the sheets that I made in my Christmas in July series to help set that up as well, which I'm already using by the way. Okay, let's move on real quick to the things that we'll be using for 2025. So these are some of the things I picked up. These are giant Mambi stick stickers. And I again, I've had these before too. And I saw them on the site again. I absolutely love these stickers. They're some of my favorite. They're on a really thick cardstock, and they're seasonal. And they're these squad girls. So this is Hello Sunshine. This year looks bright. Hey, girl, hey. And this is summer. Very summery, right? Love this. And let's keep them. Let's go like this. There we go. Then we can just look at both. Ocean air, salty hair. I really like this too. So this sticker is this big. So that's really cool. So let me pull my planner. So it's about as big as this. And you can make a planner cover with a sticker like that if you want to do a seasonal thing. I've done them before where I use them to help uh, for uh, de decorate the divider areas in my planner. I like that too. Daydreams and ice cream. So summer is very fun. I think there's eight sheets in here. This is spring. I absolutely love that flamingo. It says be you. I really like this sticker too. That's really fun. And that's a yoga girl saying breathe. And then here's more spring flowers. Peonies, please. They're on their scooter. There's more flowers. And then here's a flower van. Love that, right? Here's fall. Oh, look at this. So I love these girls. They're having so much fun. This is one of my favorite girls in here too, drinking her coffee. I love the color palette in there along with these florals and that puppy is adorable. Look at that, all the fall fun. Um, pumpkin spice and all things nice. Again, this sticker is huge. So it's good to decorate 
um, divider sections, covers, and here is our Halloween girl. Love her too, she's one of my favorites. Again, oh, I also love this sticker. <laughs> the sticker's really fun. It says, it's the most wonderful season. I'm having a hard time picking it up. And look at them singing, and the green in here is really pretty, right? And then there they are sledding. It's the most wonderful season. So there's a lot of fun decor to use with these. I've used these, again, to decorate divider sections, but I've also used them in my Currently page before. I love using these tall girls in my Currently page. They're really fun. Um, I like this one, it's really cute. That tree's fun too, and then the car. So these are gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I will, I have, this is like my, I don't know, this is probably like my third set of these, but this is completely intact. It has all the stickers, and I'm gonna reserve this for using all throughout 2025 with my planner. So you'll you'll be able to see all that happen. So if you want to play along with me, you might want to consider picking some of these up because they are on sale too and they are on, you know, super sale because there's a you know, I'm sure it's happening still today. Today as I'm filming, this is Wednesday. This video goes up Thursday and today Wednesday, there's an extra 20% off of all sale items. So I'm pretty sure these are all still included. This is an extension pack. It is um, Southern Farmhouse. I think it's uh, a food, like a menu planning extension pack. I don't know how I'm necessarily going to use it, but I absolutely love these dividers. And the reason I say I don't know how I'm gonna use it is because I've tried using a meal plan weekly like this as a whole planner and it's too much planner for me but some of these pages might work for something but i love 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 these dividers and when i say menu plan i'm also when i talk about this you'll see why okay so take time to savor in the simple things i don't know what i'm going to do but look at this divider it's very home i need a home like a home divider i can make a whole home divider with these dividers i think and some of it could be menu planning so this has recipes for breakfast, brunch, lunch, snacks, main dishes, side dishes, something new, and baked treats. So I guess this says for the week up, so this is a week of ideas. And then you get into a calendar dated situation for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and ingredients to prep. Um, I think the idea is good. I'm gonna be doing some wellness next year Maybe I can incorporate this somehow with that. I just know me, and if I start getting too much planner in my planner, that's when I fall apart. <laughs> so we will, uh, I don't know, maybe I could do these almost differently, like on a monthly type basis. I don't know, I'll figure it out, because I don't usually plan out breakfasts and lunch. I'm mostly planning out my dinners. So there are a lot of sheets of that. It ends with this page, but here's another divider. Bon Appetit, and you have to say it like Julia Child. And that's really pretty. And again, the same set of sheets here. And look at this. Joy grows from the heart of gratitude. Oh, that bread looks delicious, doesn't it? Isn't that pretty? That's a pretty photo. Ah, so pretty. And another whole set here. Good taste, good. So there's four dividers in here. So I think this is a four month extension pack to get you through. There's no monthly calendar, which is interesting, but there are all of these weeklies. So I think this would get you through four months. And then we have some stickers here. Love this dinner, brunch, lunch, uh, bon appetit, uh, grocery shopping stickers, and then these are matte, these are clear. We have the dates because it's an undated calendar and then some other stickers you can use. So I'm reserving this for part of my 2025 planning. I really fell in love, look at this, I love this. So maybe I'll be using it somehow to make a home section. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, last but certainly not least, I have a skinny classic, which I absolutely love. This is the Wallpaper Menagerie. It says, be a seeker of magic. Let's take this piece off so we can look at it. So these come with this plastic tabbed around it. And I'm gonna show something to you here. So this is just acetate, this is just plastic. And it's very reminiscent of when I use these tabs, right? 
So when you're buying your new planners this year, save this piece because we could probably cut this off because it's clear and do the same thing that we would do with these acetate tabs if we put some glue on it because we could probably glue this to a page protector. I'm gonna save this and I'll be testing that out. So you might wanna save yours too. Okay, let's get into this little planner. I love Skinny Classics. Now this year, Happy Planner put out some skinny minis which were so cute. I love the mini planners, but I don't really need an on-the-go planner because I am not really on the go. I am, I am, I am on the here at home. <laughs> And when I do go, we're usually just out having fun and I don't necessarily need my planner. But I do enjoy having this Skinny Classic hanging out in my kitchen because I also use it to menu plan, meal plan, and grocery lists and things of that nature. You don't see too much of this on here because I'm not really decorating it, although they are fun to decorate. So maybe we can do that a little bit. But I do like having it up in my kitchen so I can just leaf through it. So. This says, be a seeker of magic. And look at this. I fell in love with all these animals. There's that peacock. We got like a, is that a cheetah going on here? And all of these designs. I absolutely love this. And I love the color palette too. So there's foil on here. It's kind of that coppery foil. Oh, so cute. So cute. So let's look at this. The inside's really pretty. This happy planner belongs to me. Yes. We have our 2526. So this is one of the new planners, one of the new designs in the new planners. I they had this design and they had lush linens, which I was really looking at too. The front of it had the front of that skinny is a very vintage kitchen kind of look. I loved that so much. But these animals got me in here. So be a seeker of magic. We have our first divider here. Adorable. This is January. Um, I really like the way the skinnies are set up because you have your whole calendar here. You've got your priorities here. You have a note section here, and then you have your month at a glance going on right here. So you can write down um, anything that's going on, or if you're doing wellness tracking, you can write down any of your wellness needs, or you could track your water, you can write your steps, you can do your weight goals. You could. There's so many things you can do with a skinny that isn't too much planner. <laughs> and then the inside, this is called a horizontal, but it's in this block form. There's, there is a lot of space to write in here. These are the same size spaces roughly as on a dashboard, those spaces, uh, because a skinny classic is, is basically cut in half. So if you think of this as one sheet of a, of a dashboard, that's basically what you're getting. So you're getting that part of the dashboard. So it's a very neutral planner. It's really cute. Let's go ahead and look at these. So it ends with a grid. This is a grid paper, really fun. This says, let your dreams lead the way. And I love all this paisley print florals and the colors are really pretty too. March is how rare and beautiful you are. And again, with the peacocks, loving the peacocks. I like all the birds, all the birds. Just go for it. Absolutely, April, I will. May, my birthday month. Make the most of today. And it has all these florals going on. Super cute. Again, June with the peacocks. This one has some hot pink foil in the, in there we go, in the tail feathers. See that? Oh, so pretty, so pretty. So June is fun. Let's see July. Leave more space to breathe in life. Yes. And August, there is beauty and kindness. And we have another peacock here with those kind of tiling like the designs. I love that. It's okay to slow down. Yes. Come September. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. October. Today is full of wonderful things. Absolutely. November. Live a life you love. And here we have the jungle animals. We have like a cheetah and a tiger and a lion. Super adorable. And, oh, December, be true to you with the peacock. Uh, love that. I love that a lot. Yes. And then here is the end of it right here. And here's the back of it. Super cute. So this planner will be a lot of fun. So here are all the items that I picked up in this little bit of a stationary haul. These covers from Live Love Posh, love them a lot. And again, 
Here is the clear. The clear looks really nice and I'm really happy with it. The frosted is a little thicker, but the clear is a little more flexible and I really do like them both. I picked up these stickers that I'll be using next year. I love these giant Mambi sticks as well as this meal planning extension pack, which is gorgeous. We will be doing this Christmas planner coming up very soon. I have this pin pouch in that desert thistle design, which you know I love, and then these tabs, which we use to make all of the fun things, and my skinny. So I think this was a pretty good haul. My head's really into 2025 planning and what I want to use and how I want to just be very thoughtful with my planning system and what I'm using because again, as I mentioned, too much planner makes it makes it overwhelming and then I end up not wanting to use the pieces. I want my planner to be fun and I want it to be functional and I don't want it to be overwhelming because I don't like my planner telling me what to do. I like to tell it, you, you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I think this will be nice hanging out in the kitchen because it's also very beautiful. I do have my eye on another planner because I loved this wallpaper menagerie design, but I also love the Lush Linens. And Lush Linen has a design in the classic size that I am absolutely obsessing with. And it has a big 2025 in orange on the front. You'll see it. And <laughs> that may end up, that may end up in my, in my planning system because I'm obsessed with all those those dividers. They're gorgeous. Anyway, have you seen anything in the 2025 planners that um, have appealed to you or that you're obsessing about? I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!